Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. And do you feel like you maybe have roaches in your house or you're concerned about roach issues? Well, today's video, I'm gonna be going through the top warning signs you should look for to know if you have roaches in your house, so stay tuned. Now, no one likes roaches, right? They're pretty disgusting. They can uh, typically, you think of them in the worst areas or rundown places or dirty places. So the last thing you really want is to have roaches in your house. So you wanna look for these key warning signs and strike early, right? Get them out of your house before it becomes a major issue. So the first warning sign you wanna look for for roaches is looking for their droppings. Now, again, roaches, they're typically nocturnal, so you're not gonna see them around. They're gonna be scattering and hiding, uh, and you probably won't see them throughout the day. And again, they're gonna leave dropping. So typically roaches, they need, again, food, water, and shelter, just like any pest. So you'll probably find them in areas like garbages or near there. Uh, they eat crumbs, they eat food. So if you're leaving food containers open, or there's unclean counters a lot of times they'll go after greasy substances as well so if you've got dirty countertops dirty appliances dirty stove tops these are some different areas that roaches can hide and again they're going to need that water source so they hang out around you know sinks toilets and bathrooms leaky pipes areas like that that stay dark and hot and moist is usually where these pests like to hang out. They prefer humid and hot weather, so they'll hide out under appliances and different things like that as well. So you're gonna wanna look for droppings for these pests because again, like I said, they're nocturnal, they're skittish, they hide from humans, and so that might be the first warning sign you're gonna start to see. Another thing to look for is gonna be egg casings. So that's another warning sign for roaches that you see these egg cases that they basically leave behind. They're kind of oval, brownish casings. And the scary thing is, is that each one of these cases, depending on what species of roach it is, could range from anywhere to 10 to 20, and in some species, even 50 eggs. So 50 new roaches in each one of these casings. Now, the downside is they like to hide these as well. So they can be in hard to reach places, in walls, different areas where you might not really see them. So sometimes you're gonna need a professional to actually see these uh, before it's too late. Because again, if one casing could hatch anywhere from 10 to 50 new roaches, one or two problem roaches could turn into a huge issue very quickly. So again, if you find these, we really recommend reaching out to a pest control service to set up inhibitors to keep the eggs from hatching and eliminate the roaches that are there. Another warning sign you wanna look for is basically that you're gonna find a nasty smell uh, coming throughout your house. So you're gonna actually start smelling roaches around your home. So they kind of have like an oily, musty smell to them. Now again, typically you're not gonna just smell one roach. You know, certain species have a very potent smell where it might be one or two causing that oily, musty, gross smell in your house. But typically there's a lot of numbers that are needed to actually create that smell. So if you're smelling them, it's really time to seek out help from a pest control service or start taking action as well. The next warning sign you wanna look for is dead roaches. Now, a lot of times you might think, oh, well, they're dead, they're gone. Usually that's not the case, where obviously there's a life cycle that they go through. Roaches are incredibly hardy. They can go for a long time without food, without water. Crazy enough, they can actually go for a long time without even having a head, right? They can actually breathe through uh, their bodies so they can be headless. And basically the only reason they die with that is that they're not getting food or water at that point. So they're very hardy pests. They're really hard to get rid of. So if you're seeing den ones, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gone. If they're not active in your home, that's just certainly part of the life cycle is roaches eventually dying. But if you're seeing those, there's probably a good sign that there's other roaches in your home as well, and you should take action. The final thing that you really wanna be paying attention to is actually seeing roaches, but seeing them in the daytime. Like I said, they're a nocturnal pest, so usually they're only out and about in the evening hours, in the late hours of the night when it's dark, and they can get around and get access to food. So if you're seeing them in the day, Typically that means their nests have gotten so big to the point that they're not able to hide in the day. Or again, that they are so desperate for food that they're out searching during the daytime hours versus the evening hours because they're nocturnal. So again, if you're seeing them in the day, 
it's almost probably the point of no return and you really should figure out a way to treat for these roaches, reaching out to a pest control service to get rid of them because that's one of the worst warning signs you can see is actually seeing them during the daytime hours. So those are the top five warning signs you wanna look for. Roach droppings, egg casings, smelling the roaches, seeing dead roaches, and then again, seeing roaches during the day. And then once you have these warning signs, if you're seeing any of them, obviously reach out to a pest control service. But beyond that, some prevention steps you can take. So hopefully it doesn't get to that point where you're seeing roaches. The first thing is gonna be cleaning your home thoroughly. You know, covering garbage cans, sealing food properly, cleaning up your counters and crumbs on the floor, different things like that. Because if they don't have a food source, they're not really gonna hang around. So they are gonna thrive on that. Another thing again is sealing off water sources. So fixing leaky pipes, drippy faucets, right? Eliminating those uh, humidity throughout your house, reducing those access points for roaches to get water is another way that you can help prevent issues and reduce those as well. Another aspect that's kind of interesting, like I said, roaches really like hot and humid weather, dark places. So if you can uh, lower the temperature in your home, obviously, depending on where you live, might not necessarily be an option, but like I said, they thrive in hot, humid environments. So if you can turn the AC way up, uh, open the windows during the winter, again, maybe not necessarily the most practical option, but it could at least slow them down while you're having your home treated to get rid of those roaches. And then finally, like I said, a lot of over-the-counter methods for getting rid of roaches aren't always the best. They can be hard to reach, hard to get to those places. So overall, again, we recommend reaching out to a pest control service if you're experiencing any of these top warning signs for roaches in your home to make sure that you can get rid of those pests. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share and subscribe to our channel to get the latest pest control tips and tricks to keep your home pest free and then also if you have any specific pest issues like roaches feel free to reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com and then also as a first time customer you can head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So whether you have roach issues, other pest issues or anything in between, again, reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com. And once again, to get that great discount as a first time customer, head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. But once again, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.